his name. Is there alone right now, trying to hold it off? Yeah, we got uh, random. Able to uh, get a kill, but he also self heals here. Um, yeah, CX been pushed back a bit, and quad picked up immediately, picked off, and uh, that quad will not do any sort of uh, damage. Although we are looking at a six frag lead for Defiance at the at this moment, um, and I you know I think it's because they're they're really doing a good job of hanging down uh, and hanging on to red here. Worm peeking in. Uh, from quad at red, uh, getting another peak at rail. But, uh, the fact that a couple of Defiance guys are getting a, a leading armor stack compared to their opponents is, um, giving them a chance to maintain a lead. However, that lead is small enough that a single, uh, solid quad run of four Martyrs can even up the score very quickly here. Yeah, yeah and they're playing the textbook right now. Yeah. Random just runs. Uh, he was trying to get a couple of peak rails, uh, being sneaky, sneaky. But uh, Vortex uh, was. Uh, look at this. He's trying to drop weapons for his buddy, and, and the, his teammate just was like, "I don't want that. That's not a real weapon." <laughs> and yeah, I, I think martyrs they kind of want to be careful with those peak rails because if they get picked off in that area, then they're going to be giving rails to Defiance, which makes it that much easier to lock this red armor room down. That's a very good point. You yeah, definitely Vortex want to be careful with those to, girls. Vortex able to defend himself at uh, the portal exit. Looks like we're going to have Martyrs here trying to set up for this quad. Trying to hold Defiance off. Yeah, but without armor, I, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Yeah, the, two of the guys have been pulled down. Rune Lord stuck in the dungeon. Exfu and uh, Tainted setting up at the quad spawn itself. It's about to pop. And this time, I don't think we're going to see um, the... Oh, there it is. It's Mac coming in, pulling down the stacked guy down to 16 health. And the quad has been picked up by Wormed. Nice conversion by Martyrs. Let's see what they can do with this quad. Now, Wormed is down to an MG here. Um, he's able to kill one guy. And he's gonna get another one. He's down to 20 health. He's gonna pick up a 50. Now he's got a shoddy in hand. 70 health, no armor. Uh, he's only been able to get two kills. He's gonna about, about to make it three as uh, Random picks up the kill. And finally, the quad goes down, but that was not enough frags to make up the 10 frag deficit that they currently are struggling against. Uh, Defiance doing a great job just making sure that they're hanging on to red. At this point, though, I'm gonna take a look, um, see if that. Portion has changed here. No, it's only one. It looks like Defiance. Um, looks like Defiance making a huge push there on that red armor. Trying to get yeah, it both back. Both teams want it. Yeah, Martyrs is coming out on top here. Yep, okay, that quad so, gave them advantage here. Yeah, and so, so we have seen a, a bit of a flipping of the script. The question is, is Martyrs going to be able to. Um, maintain and capitalize off of hanging on to that red if they set up shop there. Similarly, with a 7 frag lead, will uh, Defiance just uh, hang back and, and not... Re oh, never mind. As uh, Sant goes down to random. But uh, will they just hang back and uh, not expose themselves? Yeah, when you lose that red armor, sometimes it's best just to sit back, collect those yellow armors, Collect the rocket launcher and try to set up for quad. Which will be coming uh, in about 15. Uh, interestingly enough, I, I think we have seen that there. Uh, Siak was stuck in the dungeons. Vortex also uh, getting ready to set up for quad here. Um, Martyrs looks like they're going to come in the last second again. And actually, oh wow, uh, we got Random getting uh, several kills here with the rail. Uh, pulling this into a three frag game, and it's a vortex. No armor, 86 health, going down to a close range shot to kill Mac, pulling down that uh, that quad carrier. Got ourselves a tie ball game again. Wow. So apparently, uh, quad not being terribly effective tonight, but uh, hanging on to the uh, red armor area seems to be the ticket for the team that wants to come out on top tonight. Yep. Looks like Defiance is uh, back in control of that red armor room. And from but there, I think they'll. Uh,
Well, and I, I'm noticing here that, uh, yeah, we, yeah, martyrs, they're, they're doing their little peak thing again. We've got wormed on one end, and I think it was random on the other. Um, peeking out the two entrances here. Tainted, just waiting at a portal. Going for a telefrag, almost. Oh, look at this. Uh, X, we were able to get uh, a frag here with one health. Tie game, 44 frags each. Vortex going down to random, 86 health in his pocket. And uh, we're heading towards the next quad. But Defiance currently controls red. Let's see if they're going to be able to hang on to it. Okay, Exfu yeah, definitely I mean set up for the squad. He's sitting on uh, Mega and Red. So all he needs to do is show up, show up at the right time. Which will be in about uh, 10 seconds. He pulls down Rune Lore. Although we have seen Martyrs come in late uh, twice tonight and being able to steal that quad. Let's see if that'll happen here. Oh, look at this. Before like even quad spawns, we're seeing uh, several kills here for Defiance. There it is. Exfu picking it up. And he gets out unscathed, able to pull down Mac. Mac was going to try to pummel. So was Wormed. And uh, well, it looks like they're giving Exfu a couple of frags here. He's going up against Random. And down goes Random. Exfu is still doing uh, quite well on health. Only eight uh, seconds left on this quad as it burns down here. He's going to have to watch out for rocket shots. Oh, he just dodges that one, but he won't dodge the second shot from Mac. But right that into the, it. I, yeah, th that was the uh, perhaps longest quad run of the night. I don't know if it was the most uh, plentiful, though. Yeah, it was a pretty effective quad run, though. Helping to extend their lead by seven frags now. Yeah. So we're looking at uh, almost ten minutes burned here. Sionk uh, grabbing red armor, uh, but then walking into a rocket. Mac getting a nice uh, square shot there, uh, getting yet another frag, nine frags separating. And Defiance still in control of that red armor room. So TGM, do we know if uh, the other pair of teams already started their match? I was talking with Flame a little bit. I believe Fishsticks is talking to him. I think they wanted to push their start time back until the end of this. Maybe we could get another full cast in for him. Okay. That would be great. Which is, you know, big, big props out to them then. Yeah. Oh, Mac defending uh, Quad. We're about to see it spawn here. And this may be the run that gives Martyrs a chance to catch up. Uh, we've seen Defiance out in front by a good uh, five or six frags for quite a long time now. And uh, here it is, Max starting to get a couple of uh, easy spawn frags. Closing that gap down to four. Now, uh, yeah, now down to three. And uh, we're about to see another frag here, I think. Yeah. Wow. Uh, still free... Still three frags separating the teams. Make it to... No! Holy crap, it's Sionk able to go up strong against uh, that quad carrier. And that, that quad run is done. He actually got double teamed by shotguns in there. Yeah, there's close quarters. But even with that quad, they still weren't able to re-control Red Armor Room. Looks like Defiance is back in control of it again. And slowly extending that lead again, uh, they they're, they got it back out to four frags. We're looking at uh, only three minutes left to go here. Although I guess we're going to be seeing a, a tiebreaker if Defiance comes out on top, right? Yes, we will. DM14 is the tiebreaker map. Looks like Mars is definitely going to have to get this last quad and definitely make a push into that red armor room. They're going to want a chance at winning this. Yeah, but it's a two frag game at the moment here. Uh, it's a possibility either way. And Every time you see... think one of them is going to pull away, they come back 
to tighten it up again. <laughs> 